This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Well, on a very light volume day so far, only doing about five and a half billion shares on the CBOE uh, tape, which is about a billion uh, lighter than we had on Friday at this time, maybe a billion and a half. Um, we've had a market that uh, kind of came in, got washed out a bit. Uh, we're now looking at uh, something that doesn't seem that different than Friday. Of course, we were down uh, almost 2% on the S&P. My guess is we're going to have a little back and forth before the close today. Uh, but uh, we've been testing this 3636 area for a while. Today is yet another test of that. And, uh, well, so far... We haven't been able to convincingly break it on volume. Now, I don't want to be a Pollyanna. There is a way and a Wyckoff method where these lows do get broken out over time by just slowly chiseling away at these lows. Uh, you only need a close of about 11 points higher in the S&P to get through the big 18 billion share low that we've been beating against for a while. Uh, so I'm not uh, particularly bearish. Um, options are pointing to about 380 for the 21st of this month on the spies. So we've got a little bit more to go up in that right now. The uh, SPY trading out at, uh, let's call it 361.38. So yeah, could you get 160 points? 170 points higher in the S&P in the next 10 days? Yes. Is it the end of the world? No. Uh, generally, um, of course, we had uh, Jamie Dimon uh, out uh, Pearl Harboring the market. And today is uh, a, a day where the market is going to have light volume. Always does when the bond markets close, as it is today for Columbus Day. Um, I'm not writing, uh, reading a lot into this. Catch us in the uh, show in just a few minutes.